YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in to this video today. I really appreciate it. Also, y'all, I just dropped a video three days ago on RPE. RPE is what y'all need to be successful in 2023. So make sure y'all go show some love to that video, like and comment. Also, y'all, I need y'all to do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram, t.jack2 underscores, man. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm diving right into it. So y'all, it finally came in, man, the American Express Gold Card. My, my American Express Gold Card. And I'm, you know, I'm excited because uh, with my credit journey, it's been a long journey. And I was just smart and wise to be able to be doing stuff like this now. So I'm gonna go into detail and explain. And also I'm gonna make a video on how to build credit, how to build and leverage credit that way you reach that 750 800 limit to where you can get any car you want and you know have leverage uh other people money to buy investments you know whether it be real estate or the stock market or whatever it is that you want to do i'm gonna teach y'all how to leverage and build credit man so stay tuned for that video that's my next video so yeah y'all diving right into it this amex go card I'm gonna just tell y'all what American Express is. American Express is a high value card, man. Like, not a lot of people can get these type of cards. And I got the gold. So my the card I got, it's like the it's it's high class, but it's like the low tier of the three. So it's the gold, it's the gold, it's the platinum, and it's the black. I think the black called the Satyrion or something like that. And that's the card I'm going for for. But I'm gonna get the platinum first, and then I'm gonna get the black. I was just on the on the phone with my boy Justin today, and we was talking about it. He's like, bro, you need to get the platinum. I was, I was like, no, I should have just got the platinum instead of getting the gold. But y'all, with these cards, it, they got like certain benefits. Like with the gold, it's mainly used for uh, like supermarkets and restaurants and stuff. So that's the main reason I got it, y'all, because I do. I am human, right? I gotta consume food to stay alive. So I shop a lot and I eat out uh, a decent amount. So that's the reason I got it. The platinum is mainly for like traveling. You know, if you travel a lot, you know, first class flights, you got the lounge access. It's like, you know, you can still use it for supermarkets and restaurants too, but you know, it's mainly like a travel card. So I, that's the reason I didn't get it. I should have got it. Cause now he, he told me the day that he got it and I'm, I'm like, dang, bro, you know, I, I should have got it, but it is what it is. I'm probably wait like three months and I'm gonna get it. Then I'll make a video on that. But yeah, so I, I'm rocking with the gold now, but I'm, I, I really can't wait to get the black. That's just something I really can't wait to get. I really want to get that card, man. That's just a card of status. When, when you see a person pull out a black card, that the, the American Express black card, man, they just, just know they, they got it, you know? Just know they got it. But yeah, I'm gonna just... You know, on this on this video, y'all, my my point is I'm trying to teach y'all how I went from low credit to high credit and how I leveraged my credit to build it up to be able to get cars like the gold. Well, be able to be in the club of American Express because it's y'all, it's a lot of rich people that rock with American Express. Like, you know, th these are charged. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, these are charged cards. So there's really no preset limit like i can spend 20 30k the only thing is i gotta pay that full amount back like charge cards you can't make payments on it's just like whatever you spend that month you gotta pay it at the end of the month so and i kind of like it like that because if you you know y'all wise and you on game you'll know how to use the card and i'm here to help y'all i'm here to put y'all on game man also y'all i forgot to tell y'all that I started a podcast with Justin. We're going to be teaching y'all about mindset, money, and games. So make sure y'all subscribe, man. MMG Cast. Y'all tune in. We're dropping two to three videos a week. And yeah, so I'm, you know, just tune in for that. But yeah, so I'm going to give y'all a backstory. You know, building my credit. Like, fresh out of high school, y'all, I entered the workforce. I started doing construction and I was making like decent amount of money for, you know, 18 fresh out of high school and i remember one day my mom had took me to capital one to go get a bank account and basically like set me up with starting out for life since i was already in the workforce so she got me a bank account and i remember that, that day like she added that like whatever i had liquid cash she added a, a thousand extra so 
I had like three racks when I was like 18. I'm like, yes, man. You know, I was stealing myself. Also, the money I had saved up. So she, when, whenever we had the bank account, she was like, Trey, you need to get a credit card. And I remember I said these exact words. I was like, mom, I'm going to be rich. I don't need no credit card. She was like, no, you need a credit card because credit is important. So basically, I was just like, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I brushed it to the side. So long story short, I kept building myself up in the, you know, these industries. So I went from construction to the oil industry to the rig industry. And, I, you know, my income kept going up slowly and slowly and I kept building. And I was like, OK. Well, no. So I, I went to Wells Fargo. Sorry. I went to Wells Fargo. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give me another bank account. So I opened up another bank account, y'all. And whenever I opened it up, the banker was like, hey, you want a credit card? You know, they had like some deal going on with it. And I was like, nah, I don't need one. She's like, you sure? And she's like, do you got credit? I was like, no. She's like, well, you need to get a credit card. So she talked me into it and I applied for the credit card that, you know, I was, that they wanted me to get. And I got denied, y'all, because I didn't have credit. Like, I didn't even know what a credit score was. like. And I think whenever you don't have credit, I think everybody started off at 524. That's what mine was. And whenever I applied, they denied me. And then I got a hard inquiry on my report. So I was like, ugh. I didn't even know what that was until I, I actually started learning about credit. But it hit and I got denied, y'all. And she was like, okay, uh, you only got one other option is to get a secure credit card. And I was like, what is that? And she was just like, basically, it's, so basically, I'm going to just tell y'all, a secure credit card is a card that you take your money, you give to the bank, and in return, in, in return the bank give you a card with your money. So I remember exact, I put $500 on my, on my own credit card, and they gave it to me, and I had to like build, I had to show the bank that they can trust me with their money. So that's what I did, y'all, for eight months. I was, you know, I was charging the card every week, and I'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks for y'all. For those who are out there that don't know a lot about, you know, how to leverage credit. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna make a video, but I'm gonna tell y'all, whenever you building credit or charging credit or trying to, you know, get your credit score up, you always wanna pay your balance in full. Never make payments on no credit card. One, I, I made a rule, y'all. I was like, I'm not gonna charge my credit card unless I can pay it in full whenever it pop up. So that's what I did. Every time I got charged, I mean, every time I charged it and it popped back up on my account, I'll pay it. So let's say, and and then I may also made a deal to myself that I'm like, look, I'm not charging nothing below $50. So I always kept 50 and up and say, I'll go to the store and I'll buy some that was like 80 bucks or I get gas that was like borderline 50. I'll charge it. And then whenever it pop up in two to three days, I'll pay it. And it was good. But also it was bad because my credit utilization stayed at zero percent. Y'all, y'all want to keep y'all. So I kind, I mean, it's, it's still kind of good. So I kind of made a mistake and I kind of didn't because you want to keep your credit utilization between one to ten percent. But if you want the best results, one to four percent. So like my credit was my credit limit was five hundred. So I should have just charged like fifty bucks and let it and let it report and then pay that off. And my utilization probably would have been four or five percent so you know i didn't know at the time like nobody told me about credit i had to learn all this on my own but as i learned i kept getting better and i started researching more and i just my credit kept going up and up and up but anyways back into the story so i kept paying it um like i remember it was like eight nine months in uh wells fargo because that's the bank i had went to they sent me some in the mail saying congratulations your card on the way and we we giving you your money back. So basically, I proved myself. They put the money back into my account. So they gave me my five hundred dollars back. Then they sent me a car with their money, and then they upped the limit. So instead of five hundred, I had six hundred. And you know, I got the card, and I kept basically doing it over and over. Like what I was doing to prove myself, I just kept doing it, paying my balance in full every time, paying it off, paying it off. I never made payments. And I watch what I charge. Like, keep in mind, y'all, if y'all can't pay it, pay it in full, don't charge it. Try to get that in y'all head. Some people make the mistake of, oh, I got a thousand dollar limit. Let me charge it the full thousand. Like, no, if you can't pay it all, pay that in full at the end of the month or whenever your due date come, don't charge it. I'm putting y'all on game, y'all. Keep that in y'all head. 
Do not charge the card if you can't pay it in full. So, yeah, that, that's what I've been doing ever since, y'all. So, after that, credit score shot up. I was in the 700s. And then I had ended up going to, what was it? I went to a credit union and I got a card with them. So, I had two. Then I went with Discover. That made three. And now I'm with American Express. So, now I got four credit cards, y'all. And I think I'm going to get one more and I'm going to just shut it off. Five. Because once I get that black, the Satyrion American Express card, I'm done. That's like a, y'all, that card is like high status. Like you can literally buy anything. It's literally like having the key to life. Because like you can charge it with anything. Ain't no limit on there. Just like uh, with the gold and the, and the platinum, you got to pay it back. You know, and it, it is an annual fee. It's an annual fee on this car, y'all. This annual fee is $250. The gold is $250. The platinum is $695, so basically $700. And then the black is $5,000. And you pay that yearly. <clears throat> but the benefits that come with it, y'all can do the research if y'all want, if y'all interested in getting a car. The benefits that come with it, like if you use it right, you can cut it down to a $10 annual fee or a $20 annual fee. So... Yeah, you know, it's really however you want to use it. But yeah, man, I'm just, I'm glad I got this card. You know, I'm excited. Like 2023 been a good start, man. And I've just been surrounding myself with good energy. And really, I'm going to tell y'all before I go, I want y'all hanging around right people. Like the right people that's trying to help benefit and better your life. Because y'all, like the people I hang around, we always improving. Like we always trying to tell each other, you know, okay, we're doing good in this area, but we need to work on this. And just like with this card, whenever we go to dinner, they pulling out the American Express card. And I had my, you know, I had, you know, good credit cards, but not like no American Express card. So I didn't know what it was. And they was like, oh, you need to get one. We're going to get you one or whatever. So I did my research. I, well, let me tell y'all, I used RPE research. I researched it, researched it. I planned when I was going to get it and I executed it. And I literally did it uh, January 2nd of this year, 2023. And then with American Express, uh, whenever you apply for a card, you get approved. They literally send it the next day. So that was kind of dope. But I think I had like a one day uh, wait. So I, I applied Monday and they sent it Wednesday. But it, it's cool. And then I heard when I talked to Justin earlier that the Platinum, they like whenever you get the Platinum, they send it in a special box with your name and you know, basically, it's like a status card, too. The Platinum is a status card, too. So, yeah, man. I'm Like I said, man, make sure y'all hanging around the right people. Making sure make sure you feed, feed and addition out good energy, man. I, that's why I made this channel. I, I mean, that's why I started making these type of videos. You know, because I was vlogging and, and stuff. But I'm going to continue to keep vlogging. But I'm going to be giving y'all, I'm going to be putting y'all on game about money, credit, how to better y'all life people to hang around stuff that y'all you know high income skills that y'all can learn how to uh you know write down goals and you know how to execute i'm, I'm putting y'all on game with all of that man so i'm, I'm excited man and i just want to thank y'all for tuning in for this video man i really appreciate it show some love man show some love i'm gonna try to drop twice a week maybe three times a week depending on my schedule i've been a very busy person and just out of nowhere, I was like, some rose up in me like, man, you know what? I want to add value to people's life. I want to change people's lives, man. Like, why be here and not put nobody else on game? Why just have all the knowledge to myself? And also, I'm I'm in a learning process as well. Like, I'm a sponge to life. I learn. I don't think I know it all. I learn something new every day. And I'm like, you know what? I got a YouTube channel. Why can't why can't I share with my subscribers, man? And that that's just how I'm moving now. So, yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. To this video today man i really do appreciate it remember follow me on instagram t.jack two underscores also follow the podcast mmg podcast like i said we uploading twice on there we got two videos on there right now and you know we're gonna be uploading next week as well actually like right now after i finish this video i gotta go get some more equipment for the studio and you make sure everything right that way we can get into recording monday so busy busy schedule man but yeah, like I said, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Once again, I'll catch y'all next video, man. I'm out. Mm -hmm.